Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 81 to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 18. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have 81 raised to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 18. The first step is to eliminate this power here. And let's multiply both signs by 1 over x. So on the right hand side here, we also multiply with 1 over x. So x and x here simplifies so that we have 81. This is equal to x to the power of 18 raised to the power of 1 over x. Now, x to the power of 18 raised to the power of 1 over x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of m raised to the power of n. So this essentially means we can reverse the powers here. So this we have 81. This is equal to x to the power of 1 over x raised to the power of 18, which we can write as x to the power of 1 over x raised to the power of 18 here. This is equal to 81. So again, let's eliminate this power 18 here by multiplying both sides by 1 over 18. Also here we have 1 over 18. So let's simplify 18 and 18 here. So that now we have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 81. We can express 81 as 9 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 1 over 18. So we have that 9 to the power of 2 to the power of 18. This is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power of m, which you can express as a to the power of n times m. So here we have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 9 to the power of 2 times 1 over 18. Now let's simplify here. 18 divided by 2, this is 9. So we have x to the power of 1 over x. This is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 9. Now if you check the base here, it's the same as the exponent here, and the base is also equal to the exponent. So that is a to the power of 1 over a. This is equal to b to the power of 1 over b. In this case, we have that x is equal to 9. We have that x is equal to 9. If we check here, we have 1 over x. This is equal to 1 over 9. Now, if we cross multiply here, we'll have that x is equal to 9. Now, Let's solve this exponential equation by applying method 2. Let's check with this method 2 here. Now, we have 81 raised to the power of x. This is equal to x to the power of 18. Now, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log 81 to the power of x. This is equal to rog x to the power of 18. Now we have that rog 81 to the power of x and rog x to the power of 18. This is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which we can express as n rog a. Now let's apply this power root property of logarithm so that now rog 81 to the power of x. This is the same thing as x rog 81. This is equal to, here we have 18, then rog x. The next step is to divide both signs here. You can divide by x here. And also here we have x. So let's simplify x and x here. So that now we have rog 81, this is equal to 18, multiplying by, this is rog x, divided by x. Now, 
The next step from here is to multiply both sides by 1 over 18. And also this side, multiplying by 1 over 18. So we can simplify 18 and 18 here. So that now we have frog 81 divided by 18. This is equal to frog x divided by x. Now the next step is that we can express 81. This is the same thing as 9 squared. Let's substitute this 9 squared here so that we have row 9 to the power of 2 divided by 18. This is equal to row x divided by x. Now, row 9 to the power of 2, this is in the form of row 8 to the power of n, which we can express as n row a. Now let's apply this power of property so that now rog 9 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rog 9 divided by 18. This is equal to, this is rog x divided by x. So we can simplify here. 18 divided by, by 2, this is 9. So we have rog 9 divided by 9. This is equal to rog x divided by x. Now, if we make comparison here, we have that rog 9 is equal to rog x. And here we have 9 is equal to x. So this means that x is equal to 9. In this case also, if you have rog 9, this is equal to rog x. So if we simplify rog here, we have that x is equal to 9. So this is the value of x. Applying method 1 and method 2 yields the same value of x, which is equal to 9. So the next step is to verify. So let's verify here that this value of x satisfies the equation. If you recall, we entered 81 the power of x this is equal to x to the power of 18 substituting x here we have 81 to the power of 9 this is equal to 9 to the power of 18 now we can express 81 this is the same thing as 9 squared so we have 9 this to the power of 2 then this to the power of 9 this is equal to 9 to the power of 18. So here we have 9 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 9. This is the same thing as 9 to the power of 9 times 2, which is 18. This is equal to 9 to the power of 18. So clearly, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And this affirms that the value of x here, which is 9, satisfies the equation. So kind of throw the steps like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.